Hey everyone, it's Jack, and today I'm going to be demoing an application called TouchMouse by Logitech. It's version 1.0, it's free in the App Store, I'll, uh, I'll include a link in the description box, and it basically is a touch, it's a touch mouse, it turns your iPhone or iPod Touch into a mouse, um, a mouse trackpad keyboard for your, your computer. It works, with, it works over Wi-Fi, and it works for Mac, with Linux, and PC, which is really nice, all that compatibility. So there's the icon. Waiting for my camera to zoom. Yeah, it's not zooming. Or it's not. Okay, there you go. It's a little bit clearer now. Touch mouse. And I'm going to. While it's searching for servers, I'm going to turn on my netbook. Don't worry, guys. It's already booted. It's just um, in sleep mode. So I'm going to zoom in the camera. There you go. That's, you guys can see that, right? Okay. So I'm going to turn on touch mouse. I'm going to. Okay, so it fa it's found um, my Acer um, Connect, and right away you can see the interface is nice and clean. Left, center, right buttons, uh, the trackpad, you can use this to turn on the keyboard, it's control out and Windows key, although the Windows key on a Mac computer will probably be the command key. Um, it's, it can disconnect from the server and you can choose options, so we can go to options. Uh, and here it's got button 3, which is center, primary mouse button, if you're left handed you can choose right, display labels. Uh, what you want to do right now is actually turn the tracking speed from about from it, what, when you first the default setting is about here. You want to change it all the way down here. It just once it's up there, it's just really jittery, jittery, and it just doesn't work. It's not smooth. You can also have it make a sound. Uh, I think for a keyboard or maybe the trackpad as well when you're clicking and put it to sleep. Two finger right click and dragging. All right, so. Uh, you can also use it in landscape mode, which is really nice because landscape mode just feels more comfortable. Um, so, right as you can see here, my netbook. Okay, I'm using my netbook right now. But the cursor is right there. Okay, you can see it right there. Now I'm going to use my real time guys. I'm not. I'm not playing a trick on you guys. Works really nice. I'm going to launch. Uh, let's try. Let's see if we can launch Safari. You can use tap to click. You can use two finger scroll, like I demonstrate right now. Two finger scroll. Uh, you can use three three fingers, but I forgot what it what, how to invoke that command, so I'm not gonna do that. You guys can figure it out on your own. Um, you can use the keyboard as well. So let's go to, up here to the address bar. Double click on that. Okay, let's let's go to the keyboard. Let's delete that, and uh, let's see here. I'll zoom in for you guys. And then I'll just type it in. I'll type in Mac Rumors. And what's really nice is that it actually shows you what you're typing. So, for example, I type Mac Rumors. Now it's gone, but it shows you what you're typing, so you know you don't you know exactly what, what you typed. If you made a mistake, you don't have to keep looking up and down and confirming that you did actually type whatever you wanted to type. And it's doing the autocomplete for me, so I'm just hit, hit return. And uh, there you go, Mac Rumors. The source of all Apple news or uh, all Apple. Oh man, the screen's all. Okay, so. And then once you, when you're done with the keyboard, just hit that little button to get it down. And then you can use the trackpad again. So this is really useful for um, applications such as HTPCs, high, uh, home home theater p computers, and you just don't want to go all the way to your screen, do your little mouse thing or whatever. You can just use your iPhone. You bust out your iPhone. Start connecting and just you know use it like 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 any other application. So it's really nice and you can if you're if you're jailbroken use Pro Switcher. You can just also use Backgrounder with this, which is really nice. And yeah, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, please again, one follow me, subscribe. Um, follow me on Twitter, Twitter.com/slash/beautifulcode. Subscribe to me, my channel. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. You know the deal, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll have uh, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. I know it's already, it's already reviewed by uh, App Store Reviewer, but I'm going to do a review anyway, and uh, that's going to be up tomorrow, so check out for that, so, uh, stay tuned for that as well. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll include some links in the description box um, about the software and iTunes link and all that other good stuff. Thanks for watching, bye guys.